Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Going for the head kick. No dice. Watch the strike there. Counters with a jab. Oh, man. Head kick lands. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Frantic pace early on to this one. Nice counter right hook there. other just kind of going at it nice jab by Lee just over three minutes to go now and he lands a kick to the leg now pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee Jab is on point right now. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Nice side kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Leg kick lands. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Boom. Straight left hand. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Block that kick to the body. Oh, that up the hook. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Head up. Oh. Yeah, he hurt real bad. He still hurt. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. And he... oh.
Leg kick lands. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh. What a round. Stop. Take a deep breath and relax. Nice job. You won that round. Clearly. This round, I want it to be destructive. You can move forward instead. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to him. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yells, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt in right, front of his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Lee's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Just touching him with the jab. Nice technique on the sidekick. Very active in the clinch here and lands a beautiful shot to the head. This pace is just absurd and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Clean execution on that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Circling away towards the left now. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Solid punch, Lance Cut him off, cut him off. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, huge left. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Hands high, hands high. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under and landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Third and final round here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice block. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Block the strike there. Counter on the hook is good. Nice job by Lee. Oh, he lands that team. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Work. Work. Circling to his right. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Wow! Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening horse. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Investing in the body with the kick there. Rips the body there. Straight right hand, no good. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. 
Spider lands a jab. Seconds to go in our third and final round. Big shot to the body. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, oh I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, my goodness. Another big body kick lands. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Oh, nice combo, yes. Good defense blocking that punch. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just misses with the jab there. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Final seconds of the fight. as we go the full 15 minutes. We now see how the judges score that one. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, 